Hey, welcome back to Ask a Mac. It's Lael. Tom. Uh, the question today is, how do you address your man if you think he's cheating? Can I go first? Please do. Because I get accused of cheating all the time. All the time? You all do. the time. All the time. Sometimes I'm cheating. Sometimes. Mostly <laughs> I'm not. Mostly I was I'm waiting not. for that. Usually I'm not. No. If you think your man's cheating, the worst thing you can do is accuse somebody of something they're not doing. You can't assume that they're actually cheating. If you're concerned about something, address that concern. For example, I had a girl come to my house and found one of my shirts on my bed and she accused me of having a blouse at my house and it was my shirt. Why and do you wear a blouse? It's a nice shirt. It's <laughs> It's a nice shirt. I thought it was a guy's shirt, but it was it was one of the ones with the ropes or whatever. Anyways, I got really upset because I was being accused of something I didn't do. And I lashed out and things got bad. But had she said, hey, I found this shirt. Well, is this your shirt? I'd be like, oh yeah, it's my shirt. That's it. Or whose shirt is it? And you'd be like, it's my shirt. I would it's put, extra large. It's my shirt. It's mine. It's mine. I would, I would, it's my shirt. Put it on. It's my shirt. What? In her defense, she saw a blouse. But in your defense, you could say, look at the size tags. Right. But the thing is, it's how you address it. Because if you came over, oh, who the fuck bitch's shirt is this? We're gonna have problems because I didn't do anything wrong. I'm pissed off and then I'm gonna react however I react and we might split up or whatever. So it's not a good way to address something. You just have to ask and don't assume. And we get his answer, accept his answer. If you think he's cheating, keep an eye out, pay attention to stuff, but don't accuse because if you accuse me of cheating, you know what? Maybe I should fucking cheat. You know what's funny? When you first said this, I was like, you know, you're getting accused of this stuff. So what? But he's right. You can actually push somebody into cheating if they're not cheating because you keep accusing them of it. It's kind of like if you're talking to somebody about something, they're like, hey, hey calm down, calm down. Oh, like, don't fucking tell me to calm I, down. I, I am calm. Be like, yeah. I am calm. They're they defensive. Like, oh, stop raising your voice. I'm not raising my voice, but now I am. Just relax. You know what? Why don't you change your tone? I'm like, you motherfucker. <sighs> yeah. At the third time, you're going to be flipping out. And women, you can understand that perfectly because the number one thing to make a woman lose her fucking mind is to tell her to relax. Number one. Anybody. That's not just women. That's anybody. I'm just saying the worst thing to say to women when they're angry is calm down. It doesn't matter what you say to women when they're angry. You're not going to win anyway. <laughs> oh, I love your hair. Fuck you. My thing is this. When he said you have to believe him. I agree. You have to believe him. I agree to a point. Unless you have proof, you have to believe him. Well, no. If you don't believe him and it's bothering you, you either have to believe him or you got to leave. If something keeps happening and happening and happening, like if she was like, whose shirt is this? And he was like, it's mine. And then the next one is another blouse. <laughs> He's like, it's mine. One. Whose heels are those? They're mine. Yeah. Then you could be like, well, I've never seen the bitch here, but I'm starting to not believe him. Yeah. Leave. I made a song for my son one time, giving him a bunch of life advice. And one of the things was, if you think she cheating, you got to leave her because either you're right or you're wrong and you're going to mistreat her. If you think he's cheating, but gotta you don't leave. believe him, got to leave. you're going to start treating him Stop pointing at me, bro. This came up with you, with your shirt. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. If you don't believe him that that was his shirt, you're going to start giving him attitudes. Then he's going to get upset. And want to cheat. Right. So if you say, all right, you know what? I'm going to believe him and run with it and everything goes smooth, then you're great. And if more things come up, then you're going to address it or just bounce. But once you start feeling like he is cheating, either you're right and you just don't have the proof or you're wrong and you're going to fuck it up anyways. If you accuse me cheating, I, that's what I want to do. I don't know why I'm like that, but that's what I want to do. Oh, you think I'm getting pussy? Oh, you know what? Let me go get some pussy for real so you can have something to really be mad about. I've done that. You've done that, but you're not a cheater. I don't cheat. It's not like I'm a good guy. Like, I'm so honest. I am, but I'm an asshole honest. If I'm not happy enough where I want to stay, I leave. That's why I don't cheat. So I was in a relationship with a girl that was like long distance and we made a video saying that you can't have a long distance relationship and we came up with all these scenarios. Oh, he's not going to answer the phone. He's going to say, oh, I dropped my phone in the car and blah, blah, blah. I told her, call me back in a couple hours. I'm going to read my son a bedtime story. And as a parent, you know, a lot of times when you read your kid the bedtime Fall story, asleep. To put them to sleep, you go to sleep. That's what happened. And I woke up like five hours later and... 18 missed calls. Oh, and then she was like, ah, you're messing around. I'm like, I was sleeping. She's like, oh, Saturday night? I'm like, I'm raising my kid by myself. I'm at home. And she was like, well, I called my ex and we went out and we were messing around. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. I did not sleep with anybody last night. You just fucked it up. You doubted me, which... I understand. You can have all the cause. It makes sense. You see a blouse? It makes sense. It's not a fucking blouse. Oh. Ah!
you hear a guy say that long distance won't work and if the guy's not answering the phone on a Saturday night, he's probably cheating and the person that said it wasn't answering the phone on a Saturday night, I understand where your perspective came from, but you were wrong. So what I did was I went and fucked another girl. Then I called her and told her. I fucked the girl. She are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. We were done as soon as you went out with the other guy. And you know what, bro? I fall asleep all the time. Put my daughter to bed all the time. Like four nights out of the week. One of my favorite things to do. Yeah. It happens. You know what? Sometime my phone dies. This doesn't mean I'm fucking cheating though. That's pretty much it. Just address it without accusing. Once you accuse, you're creating problems that may be there or may not be there. So you don't want to be a cause of the problem. Ask questions, get the answers, keep an eye out, and move on. Think we all set? Yep. We good. All right. All right. Bye. Oh, see.